Lilyhip's Table Tennis Club. Man, oh man, what a special place this is. This table tennis club has been one of the hallmark clubs of the entirety of the East Coast in the USA. Built on the image of Lily Yip, who represented the USA in the 1992 and the 1996 Olympics, it's no wonder that this club has just set the standard so high when it comes to building a competitive level of table tennis for the entirety of the region. In a mutually exclusive relationship, the Lily Yip Table Tennis Club breathes life into the city of Denellen, and the city reciprocates the love of course. Featured recently in the New York Times, the Nellens mayor, Mayor Jason, came down to the club last Sunday night to showcase his support for the community. He also established what we hope to be a lifelong connection to the Lily Yip Table Tennis Club. I got to interview Mayor Jason for a brief period of time, and I absolutely loved this guy's energy, and I appreciated the love he has for the city. Check it out. Hello guys, Al Hassan here. I'm here. I'm here with the mayor of Dunnellan, New Jersey, Mayor Jason. How are you doing on this fantastic day? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me here today. Yeah, absolutely. So, what brings you here to Lily Yip's Table Tennis Club? I'm here on the invitation by Lily. Uh, they're having a tournament here. She wanted to introduce me to some of the U.S. players that might be in the Olympics. Right, yeah. I mean, the U.S. has had fantastic results recently, especially at the U.S. Open. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of up-and-coming player. How important is it for you as a mayor to come out and do these community outreach type programs? It's very important. Uh, this is our business community. This is a representation of our community. To know that we have a business in town that uh, potentially represent the U.S. and, US and the Olympics, is, it's, it's a great thing for Donnellan. It puts us on the map, and we're very proud to have uh, Lily Yip's Table Tennis in Donnellan. Absolutely. I know as a mayor, you probably go to a million of these events. You're always doing uh, networking stuff. Anything special catch your eye today at the Lily Ips Table Tennis Club? The energy and enthusiasm by all the players in the tournament and uh, Lily herself. She brings great energy to our downtown. Yeah, Lily, uh, former Olympian, of course, and, uh, you know, she's always bringing that energy. Uh, she's been doing this for so long, and it's always fantastic to see her, you know, promoting that table tennis, especially for the younger players. Uh, any bigger plans for the city of Dunlin overall? What do you got planned out? Uh, what are your hopes for the city, and how are you uh, planning things out going forward? Well, we're in the process of revitalizing our downtown, and it's important to attract businesses such as Lily Yip's Table Tennis to our downtown. Uh, the goal is to make it a more walkable, more destination type of downtown, and um, you can see it in the main street. A lot of businesses are reinvesting in their own buildings, or we're getting new developments in the downtown, mixed use, uh, which will create a higher density, which will allow more people to shop in our downtown, live in our downtown, uh, and make Dunellen a more uh, desirable place for people to shop, live, and dine in Dunellen. Right. No, absolutely. You know, the big C question, uh, COVID has been rampant and it's been tough to manage overall. Uh, what has it been like for you coming in as the uh, mayor of Dunnellan, uh, trying to kind of take control of this while managing, you know, a lifestyle for everybody, basically? Uh, you take it day by day. You, you, you look at the data and you watch the cases and you try to make the best decision possible. You know, I was mayor for three months and then COVID hit. Um, you know, you, you, you follow the, the health experts, the CDC, the guidelines, and you try to do in a, a balanced way in which you, you respect public health and you try to create, you try to allow business to continue. And I think Donnellan's had a nice balance and where we respected people's um, businesses and did efforts to continue uh, supporting our businesses through uh, initiatives such as uh, Dine in Donnellan every Friday. We started restu Restaurant Week. We hosted a concert series that created a small grant program in 2020 for the businesses impacted by uh, COVID-19 and um, make sure that education is key in how we handled the pandemic. And um, that's, that's how we handled it. Gotcha. Yeah. Fantastic stuff from Mayor Jason, of course. Uh, to anybody who's planning to open a business in the city of Dunnellan, anybody who's got their eyes set on Dunnellan as somewhere to maybe explore a, a new home life, uh, what would you tell them? 
It's a great town. It's, it's built on volunteerism. It's built on a small sense of community, small town values, where it's a neighbors helping neighbors community. We're a diverse and inclusive community. So I say Dunellen is the next great place along the Raritan Valley line. It's a great place for businesses. We're open for business. We're business friendly. And uh, it's, it's a community where neighbors support each other and they support our, our businesses downtown. So this is the place to live. Go look at the New York Times article uh, from two Sundays ago and... Uh, You'll you'll hear you'll learn more about Danelle, and it's a great place to live. I grew up here. We're known as the Miracle Mile, so <laughs> I may be a little biased on that, but it's <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with a little bit of bias. Showing some love for your city, I appreciate it. Always fantastic to see. Um, I'm not going to keep you here too much longer, but I hope in the future, whenever you got a little bit of free time, hey, come through Lilyevs and hit a little bit of table tennis. <laughs> I could use the exercise. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Mr. Jason. Appreciate it.